okay hi guys so we'll be continuing on seeing more concepts on molarity of pure liquids so let's get started molarity of pure liquids okay so number of moles of liquid per liter is the molarity of pure liquid as we already know number of moles of liquid per liter is the molarity of pure liquids so you have to calculate molarity of pure water okay so density is 1 gram per ml okay so we can write that 1000 ml water has 1000 gram okay hence molarity would be 1000 upon 18 okay so which is 55.55 next let's discuss molarity of an ideal gas okay so molarity of an ideal gas can be written as m equals to n by v and pv equals to nrt okay therefore n by v is p upon rt okay so at constant temperature 1 upon rt would be a let's say a constant okay so then molarity which is n by v would be 1 upon rt is constant constant into pressure or is a function of pressure so as this is molarity of ideal gas and this is pressure and this is molarity equals to constant is 1 upon rt okay so as pressure increases molarity increases what happens at constant pressure at constant pressure we would have something like molarity like molarity like molarity is now p upon rt so constant pressure p and r are, co are constant so molarity would be a constant upon or rather let me write it at s k dash k dash upon t so the graph would look like this is molarity versus temperature it would look like this k dash is equals to 1 upon k dash is p upon r okay and if we draw the graph of m versus 1 by t then it would be a straight line with k dash as constant okay so what would be the molarity of gas present in gaseous mixture so for gaseous mixture let's suppose we have A, B and C okay and molarity in molarity of mixture in terms of A would be or rather molarity of A would be number of moles of A present in the mixture divided by volume of mixture okay now let's take an example 
where we have that molarity of air in terms of oxygen would be molarity of air in terms of oxygen would be moles of O2 in air divided by volume of air in liter okay next let us let's next let's have a question wherein we have to calculate molarity of air sample at pressure equals to 1 atm temperature equals to 300 kelvin okay and if the average molar mass of air is molar mass of air is given 28.8 .8 containing and which contains N2 and O2 so we have to calculate the molarity of air sample in terms of O2 okay so let's get started so let's say we have one mole of air so one more one mole of air let's say it contains x moles of o2 and one minus x moles of n2 then 28.8 which is the molar mass of air would be coming from both oxygen and nitrogen as it contains only oxygen and nitrogen so from here x can be calculated and x would come out to be 0.2 moles and hence in air it is 20% oxygen by mole and 80% nitrogen by mole hence oh, moles of oxygen in air is 0.2 now again applying PV volume of air is equals to N air up N air RT okay so the volume of air would be N air would be 1 R is 0 0.082 temperature is 300 Kelvin pressure is 1 atm so volume of air can be calculated as 24.63 liters okay this is 1.24.63 liters okay hence molarity in terms of oxygen would be 0.2 upon 24.63 okay you can calculate this so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing typical concentration terms okay so till then good luck and good bye